Creek Elementary Chapter of the National Elementary Honor Society. Our chapter began just one year ago through the hard work and dedication of Mrs. Judy Degler and our principal, Ms. Sandra Kay. As an advisor, I am honored to have the opportunity to be a part of such a prestigious organization. The students sitting in front of me represent the best and the brightest, and I am proud to help them along on their educational journey and happy to recognize their accomplishments. And now I'd like to introduce Mina Avery, our chapter secretary. Hi, my name is Mina Avery. I have the pleasure of introducing our guest speaker this evening. Her name is Daphne Forrester. She is a junior at Spruce Creek High School. Daphne exemplifies the four qualities of an honor society. I proudly present to you Ms. Daphne Forrester. Hi, my name is Daphne Forrester, and as said before, I'm a junior at Spruce Creek High School, and I'm also a member of the National Honor Society. And today I'll be talking to you about National Elementary Honor Society. To be inducted in National Elementary Honor Society is quite an honor, because it means that you all have excelled in these four areas. Scholarship, responsibility, service, and leadership. Scholarship is the commitment to learning. And every day when I come home from school, I show this because instead of going outside and playing with my friends or doing something else, I go home and I study and I sit down and I do my homework until it's finished so I can earn that A in my classes. In the second area, which is responsibility, this also requires for you to... It requires for you to... Work hard, and when I think of someone who is responsible, I think of someone that chooses to do the right thing, even though it is so easy to do the wrong thing. For example, if you see that someone has put some trash on the floor carelessly and they've left it there, it's so easy to look at it and say, well, that's not my mess, why should I clean it up, and just walk away. But it takes a responsible person to look at the trash <coughs> and pick it up and not say anything and not complain. This goes into our third area, which is service. Now, to demonstrate service, you don't necessarily have to do something big. You can demonstrate service in small ways, but every day. Because it's the small things that you do every day that benefit your community for tomorrow. How I demonstrate service is, some days, whenever I have free time, I look at my closet, and I look at all the clothes and all the toys that I don't need anymore, and I gather all those clothes and toys, and I donate them to the Salvation Army to give to kids and people that aren't fortunate enough to own a pair of sneakers or to know what an action figure is. Last but not least is the quality of leadership. To be a leader doesn't necessarily mean being a line leader. To be a leader can simply just be you helping your neighbor who's struggling with a math problem or struggling reading a book and helping that person get the math problem right until, no matter how long it takes. And now, before I end, I would like to give a round of applause to Spruce Creek High School and also to Mrs. Deborah Abadia for having me, for letting me have the honor of being here. I will now call the inductees forward with the help of Ms. Gallagher and Ms. Kay. Joshua M. Solomon. Luciano Anderson. Sophie Bogdan. Angelise Bonilla. Destiny Brzezowski. Riley Christie. Grant Clark. Zoe Condren. Anthony Costanza. 
Give yourselves a round of applause. 